Let's find out what this infinite series is equal to. 1 plus cosine square x plus cosine to the 4 x plus cosine to the 6 x plus cosine to the 8 x plus all the way endlessly. Okay, so how do we find this out? Notice that after the 1, they're all cosine x terms to a power. And every subsequent term has a power that is 2 higher than the power of the previous term. Okay, so let's do this. Let's let k equals to this infinite series here. 1 plus cosine square x plus cosine to the 4 x plus cosine to the 6 x plus cosine to the 8 x plus all the way. Now, what if I multiply this infinite series by cosine square x. So on the left side, it will be this, cosine square x times k, right? It's equal to, on the right side, now 1 times cosine square x is cosine square x, plus cosine square x times cosine square x is cosine to the fourth x, plus cosine to the fourth x times cosine square x is cosine to the sixth x, plus cosine to the sixth x times cosine square x is cosine to the eighth x, plus cosine to the 8x times cosine square x is cosine to the 10x, plus all the way. Now, what do I do next? What if I subtract the second series from the first series? Then on the left side, it will be this, k minus cosine square x times k, right? And on the right side, what would that be? Now notice that cosine square x and cosine square x here will cancel out. Cosine to the fourth x cancel out the cosine to the fourth x here. Cosine 6x six six cancel out the cosine 6x six six here. Cosine 8x cancel out the cosine 8x here. Cosine 10x here cancel out the cosine to the 10x here. And then everything here at the back will cancel out. All I have left is just the 1 here. So it's equal to 1 here. Now, k is the common factor. So let's factor the k out. So we have 1 minus cosine square x times k. It's equal to 1. 1 minus cosine square x is sine square x. Times k is equal to 1. Isolate k. Divide both sides by sine square x. Okay, k is equal to 1 over sine square x. But 1 over sine square x is also equal to cosecant square x. Now, what did we say k is equal to at the beginning? We said k is equal to this infinite series, right? And k is equal to cosecant square x. That means this infinite series is equal to cosecant square x. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.